Nice. Hello, I'm John Howard, and this is my playthrough of Dragon Age 2. Uh, today, I am looking for a bunch of bandits to kidnap someone. Could be anywhere. We're going in this corner here. Nothing. You there? Did my love send you? Will you take me to him? I come at your father's request. You expected someone else. Fenrio, the man of my dreams. These brutes intended to take my maidenhood. As they argued about who would go first, I fainted. Then Fainriel spoke to me in a vision and told me not to fear. When I awoke, the men had slain one another. Please take me to Fainriel. I want to thank him properly. I'm sorry, but I have no way to locate him. What? Just curious to see which way she goes. Okay, yeah. Could at least um, walk her back. At least to the edge of the map. Start on the loose. It's loading. I just want to say I'll ask something. Well, I guess I can ask now. To if you're watching this on something other than YouTube, please click like the link that will lead you to my YouTube channel. Only asking because that way I know somebody watched uh, this video. No, that's all. Okay. What do we got? Doing a mace. Weapon and shield, weapon and shield. No dual handed weapon, guys, no archers. And I'll keep the magic. That goes to trash. Mm, no. Mm, go 
also now I guess that's for her. I can have that one too. Keep that, but that's not going to use on my mages. Maybe they yeah, can have it. Uh, either way, rest is junk. This way. Two story mission away. incident within the gallows. A number of phylacteries were destroyed, and several mages took the opportunity to escape. We've recovered most of the fugitives. However, I require your assistance in tracking down the last three. How did the phylacteries get destroyed? An insurrection. Several of my own Templars orchestrated the escape. Presumably out of sympathy for the mages. They turned their backs on their duty and endangered their charges, as well as the city. Thankfully, most who escaped fled to their families and offered no resistance. The last three are proving more difficult. Since you're turning to me, should I assume the Templars all suddenly disappeared? The apostates are being sheltered by their families. Some have been reluctant to talk to Templars. But you are another matter. The people of Kirkwall trust you, Champion. They will be more honest for you than for us. I'm not doing your job for you. You claim to have Kirkwall's interests at heart? Show it. Prove that you are champion in more than just name. With the influence you wield in this city, champion, it is crucial you understand just what we face. Talk to these mages' families. Investigate for yourself whether they need be recaptured. 
You aren't afraid of what I'll do. I hope you'll do the right thing. You do not approve of my methods. But perhaps you will change your mind when you see firsthand how dangerous these apostates are. And what would it take to change your mind? Speak to my assistant, Elsa. She can tell you whatever you need to know about the fugitives. I bid you good day, champion. Good day, Champion of Kapwal. Knight Commander Meredith has informed me that you will be tracking down the apostates on behalf of the Templars. There are three of them. Huon, Emil, and Evelina. Are the apostates blood mages? The Knight Commander suspects this, yes. But she does not know for certain. The Knight Commander tends to assume all apostates practice blood magic. She prefers to err on the side of caution. Why does Meredith have a tranquil assistant? She flaunts what she can do to mages. She likes to rub our faces in it. The Knight Commander believes tranquil mages to be efficient and single-minded. I, in particular, am extremely organized. I want to hear about Huon. Huon is an elf. He was apprehended in the alienage ten years ago. His wife, Nisa, works for a dressmaker in Lotan. Have the Templars spoken to her? Yes. Nisa insists she has not seen Huon since he joined the Circle. Tell me what you know about Emile. The second apostate is Emile de Lancey, fifth son of the Comte de Lancey. Out of Hightown, some of our more vocal and delicate nobility. They are home in the evenings authoring complaints. What have they said to the Templars? The Comte and Comtesse say they have not seen Emile since he was a child. What do you know about Evelina? Evelina was trained for eight years in the circle in Ferelden. She was last seen in her former residence among the refugee community in Darktown. How did she come to be in Kirkwall? Evelina claims to have fled the Blight, not the circle. She presented herself to the first enchanter on her arrival and asked to take her place here. It doesn't sound like a fugitive. Anything else? Our files indicate she petitioned Meredith for financial support of numerous other pre-adolescent blight survivors. Did the Templars run her into Darktown? Yes, they tracked her there, but she killed several pursuers. The Templars believe she is the most dangerous apostate. I have all the information I require for now. Good luck on your search, champion of Kirkwall. <sighs> okay. Oh, and done, mages. Blah, blah, blah. Something, something. Hopefully, I can convince them not to be dumb. Ah. Convince the midges not to attack me, to be nice and blah blah blah, and not start a war, blah blah blah. <sighs> Which I will do next time. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and see you then.